Hello guys and welcome to Trace Tamit. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss none of the videos that I post. In today's video, Laura Trump went on The Breakfast Club and I'll say that she had handled some business. Now in this clip that you guys are about to see, she has to clear some things up that's been said about former President Donald Trump. Check this video out. He joins us tonight. I'm not going to ask you about that last comment, Laura, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll move right along to uh, Trump talked about the enemy within uh, th this week. Um, and he, he makes a great point. We've, we've seen what the left has done, and, and they've scared people so much that you have all these Silicon Valley guys and people that used to hate Trump going with them because they're so terrified about what the Democrat Party is now capable of. They are losing it over this enemy within comment. What's your response? Yeah, well, they're, they're going to have to fear monger their way right through the next 15 days because, Rob, they have absolutely nothing to show the American people that's going to make anyone want to vote for Kamala Harris, and they know it. They went hard on abortion. It's really <coughs> not panning out for them. They cannot talk about the economy. They cannot talk about the southern border. They cannot talk about safety and security. They sure as heck can't talk about peace through strength because take a look around, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the next thing that they are going to try to do. They are constant fear mongers, and they're going to do it for the next 15 days. But the, the reality is I don't think it's working on the American people. Look at the numbers right now. Look at the polling. Look at the Vegas betting odds. Look at poly market odds. Look at everything and look at the way that you have Democrats now jumping ship to get away from Kamala Harris. These are senators who are in really tight races in their states and they are actually running at. Because everybody know what's been going on and they do not want to deal with it. Listen, they tried pushing everything. Everything that they've thrown at former President Donald Trump, he has stand tall. He has stand tall, no matter what they've thrown at him, he has stand tall and say that he means business. You got to think, he can be out doing a lot of other things, but instead, he want to fight for this country to make it great again. You know, with the assassination attempts and everything else that they've thrown at him, he has not given up. Now, I don't know if you guys have been seeing him, but he's been campaigning everywhere. He's been throwing multiple rallies. He's been doing these phone calls on these podcasts. He is doing a lot so that he can get this country back great again. Ads with Donald Trump in their ads in a very yeah. positive way. And that tells you all you need to know. So this whole play is not working for people. We've mm. all seen what they did to Donald Trump. We've all seen the way they've attacked him. Four indictments, uh, two impeachments, a mugshot two assassination attempts. Mm. We all know who the enemy within is that Donald Trump is talking about and referencing. You know it, I know yeah. it, everybody in this country knows it, and so do they, but this is their only play, and, and I think we're probably probably too used to it at this point. Yeah, that's exactly right. They pride Wolf too many times, and nobody mm -hmm. cares anymore because they just know it's all fake. Yes, they've been throwing everything that they possibly can throw at former President Donald Trump, and at the end of the day, he has not given up because he wants to make America great again. Look at what we've been dealing with and how could we not want change, you know? Especially with this inflation, these prices are just crazy. The crimes that are happening are just crazy. We need to get back to where we used to be. Now, Stacey Abrams, she was on CNN and she said something that I do not 100% agree with. Check this clip out. Do you agree that black men who are not voting for Harris and who didn't vote for you as, as the pastor sees it, are misogynist. As he said, misogyny is still real in our community. I would say, number one, I know it's a shock to everyone, but sexism remains real and a very pertinent issue. But I want us to be really clear that Kamala Harris is doing very well with black men. Black men are the second strongest cohort of Democratic voters. What we're seeing, though, is that she is showing them due respect by actually speaking to their issues. And those issues differ from other cohorts. I'm not quite certain why there is this panic about black men voting. They vote. In fact, they vote more than their counterparts in any other community for Democrats. However, we do have to acknowledge that there is sexism. There is racism. There are challenges in our electorate. And that's why it's so important that Kamala Harris is going everywhere and talking to everyone. She respects voters. She meets them where they are and she refuses to be told that she has lost a cohort, lost a community, simply because she's different. The best candidates recognize that you win by meeting people where they are, and Kamala Harris is doing that every single day, and we'll keep doing it for the next 14 days until we get to election day. Listen, so I don't know if she woke up and drunk a full bottle of TDS, 
But I'm going to say this. The reason why there is panic is because people are making a different decision. They don't want to deal with what we've been dealing with. It's hard for people to make ends meet right now. It's hard to keep a roof over their head. You know, these prices are just insane. They're crazy. You go to the grocery store. It's crazy, you know. And with these interest rates, inflation, crime, nobody wants to deal with what we've been dealing with. Enough's enough and people are tired of it. I don't blame them. You know, they want change. They want to continue what we've been dealing with. That's why there is a panic. It's because they know that people are making a different decision and a different path forward because they want a brighter future. That's what it's all about. Now in this next clip, I'm just going to say this. CNN had no choice but to admit this. Check this clip out. The jitters that are on the Democratic side is because that there is this feeling and these polls are showing that Kamala Harris, Vice President Harris, is underperforming with Latino voters. And I think, you know, kind of what we've already talked about is Latino voters are not monolithic, right? And there are plenty of Latino voters who are concerned about the border, may want a stronger border, may look at, you know, the rhetoric that, that Trump has about, you know, immigrants or people coming over and say, that's not me. I did it the right way. They didn't do it the right way. And he has an economic board, uh, an economic message and a pro-business message and an anti-socialism like message mm -hmm. that can resonate with some Latinos. Yes, a lot of people have seen things that we've been dealing with. They want a new path forward. You know, they want some big change because what's happening right now shouldn't be happening at all. Like this stuff that's going on shouldn't be happening at all. It never used to be like this. Like things are just so tough right now. And people are doing the best, you know, working 40, 50, 60 hours just to make ends meet. Nobody wants to continue with that. Let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comment section. That'll be a wrap for today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.